Hi everyone. I came on a few minutes early just so everyone could make sure that they're in the right place. Well, make sure everyone's in here. So I'm Denise, but tonight I'm Sally. So if you were with us last Friday night, we did this one. That was last Friday. I got a little carried away on the blue makeup. So I started with some blue eyeliner. Then I started with some blue eyeshadow and I got carried away. And the next thing you know, my face was like solid blue. It was way too blue, but I did not have enough time to wash off and start over tonight. I was like, I'm just going to keep it simple. And let me just tell you, it wasn't fun to get off of it my face either. So tonight I'm just going to keep it a little more simple. Rewear the wig, except tonight Sally's wearing her beret because she's in the artsy mood, right? So welcome if you're joining us for the first time. I'm really excited to have you. And so again, I'm just going to talk for a couple minutes while we're waiting for everybody to get in here. So I want you guys to know there's a couple of different private Facebook groups. We have a subscription group where people subscribe for the month and they get unlimited uh, art videos that are recorded. There's an art app and uh, they, there's over a hundred art videos in there. So really it's just fun. The kids love it and adults love it too. So we also have the private Facebook group for them. So every time I go live, they get to go live with me if they want to in the private Facebook group. So that's separate from a la carte. So tonight I also have tickets for the nightmare before Christmas where you can just sign up for one video and that's in a separate group. Okay. So you guys are in one group and then the subscribers are in another group. I use StreamYard as a platform to broadcast from. So where you say StreamYard, you know, is asking permission for your name. Again, we're in a private group and it's just so if you choose to chat. So in those comments, It'll say Facebook user if you don't give it permission for your name. or And if you do give it permission, it'll just show your name so everyone can see who's commenting. It doesn't matter. Totally up to you, however private you want to be. Later, I'm going to give you guys a, a link, a StreamYard link, and that is what enables you to come on the screen and share your artwork if you want to. You do not have to. So if you don't click that link, no one's going to see you. What happens is you'll click the link, and the regulars love doing it. You'll know the regulars because they're going to be the first ones on the screen and they look like professionals for sure. So uh, you, I'll post the link. You click on the link and then it brings you into a waiting room. It's called the green room. And I'll see you in there, but no one else can see you in there. And as you come in, then I will bring you up on the screen. Okay. So that's how that works. That's what that StreamYard is where it says give StreamYard uh, permission. And you guys, yes, so someone said, and see how it says Facebook user, I'm stuck at work, and will I be able to play this later? Yes, you guys, this is live right now and recorded for later. Watch it whenever you have a, time, a chance. And even if you get tired and you want to take a break, again, it'll record, it'll take a few minutes to upload, and then it'll be in the group as a recording. No problem. Watch it later. Not a big deal. A lot of people watch it over and over again a few times. So really uh, it's totally up to you guys, but all of the stuff that we do live is recorded. So that's why, again, I don't even know how many videos we're up to at this point, but there's a lot of them and we have a lot up and coming too. So if you haven't checked it out, we have this one. So Monday's Columbus day. Not, not if you're watching this recorded. Okay. Who knows what day it is, but Monday here is, uh, Columbus Day. So at noon Eastern Standard Time, we're doing the witches and friends. Some of the kids are off of school. So it's a good activity for the afternoon if you guys are looking for something to do. Again, it's on my Facebook page. Check it out. All right. So I talked enough. It's after seven. I hope everybody was able to make it into the group. I know some people were having a little challenge. So I just want to double check before we start. And that's the last person. Yay! This might be the first time everyone made it in. <laughs> I'm super happy. All right. It's awesome. Okay. So, 
the heart of the, I'm so super excited. I'm in a Facebook leadership team and we had this conference for three days virtually and they have this new Facebook live events where I don't even need Eventbrite. It's going to be right on Facebook. So it's awesome. It's almost like a private group, except it's just Facebook live events, live and recorded. But Facebook does everything, payment, uh, letting you into the group. So to get from Facebook to Eventbrite, checking your email and back to Facebook is a, is a challenge for you and for me if you're not a monthly subscribers. Monthly subscribers are already in the group. They know how to do it. But getting new people to know where to go to find the group. So if you're wondering, that it's just a challenge. And again, I sent out probably 10 emails and I know some people just don't get them. It goes into spam or they just didn't check it. I don't know. But again, you're here. Yay. Let's have fun. Okay. So I always, if you haven't drawn with me before, I love to start with a sloppy copy. So if you have computer paper or scrap paper or anything to do a practice version on, I, I highly recommend it, but you don't have to, okay? So if you have something circular to trace, trace a circle out depending on what size you're using. Mine is 16 by 20, it's pretty big, but I'm on camera and I'm gonna use a black marker. I would suggest you use a pencil. I'm using a black marker so you can see it on the screen. So again, I'm gonna start with a circle. Just trace out a circle. Again, it could be a cup, a plate, something circular that you have and use a pencil. Pretty hard to draw a circle from the side, I'm just saying. Is it perfect? No. Does it matter to me that it's not perfect? No. I want to make sure everyone's in here. I got a couple of messages. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we have one new person, I'm not going to say her name, and she's in the group, but I don't know why she can't find the video. Hey, Amelia. Hey, Lola. Hi, Emily. And you guys, it's Reagan's birthday. Reagan is 11 today. Happy birthday, Reagan. Hey, Emma and Bella. We had, Reagan didn't know she was going to make it because she was going to her grandparents tonight for her birthday. So I just wanted to give her a shout out for her 11th birthday. All right. I'm going to give Kim. Oh, I just almost said her name, but it's okay. Her name's Kim. <laughs> you guys don't know her, but she's in the group and she just can't find the video. And I don't, again, I don't know how to get someone. I want, I want, so I don't have to keep checking my phone. I want her to, you guys, someone text my regulars, text me when you see someone named Kim pop in the room, just to make sure she's in there. Uh, she, she's a new subscriber. So, all right, you guys got that circle traced. And again, just use a pencil. Yeah. Uh, and again, I like using Sharpie marker. After you have your circle, let's do that the hill that looks like a big Hershey kiss, right? So I'm just going to do a diagonal line off the edge, up, over, around, around. That just reminds me of a Hershey kiss. It could just be because I like Hershey kisses, but, and this is practice. Okay. I didn't go all the way down because the other hill is going to overlap it. I, left, I just left gaps here because I'm going to put pumpkins there, but you can do a straight line again, just like it overlapped here. It doesn't really matter because I, when I color it, it's going to cover that line, but I'm going to put a pump, couple of pumpkins in on that hill. I'll put them in there now while I'm there. So again, your pumpkins can be short and squatty. They can have a nice mean, a nice face, a mean face. I 
I, I'm going to put more pumpkins in there. Jack-o'-lanterns, right? Did you guys see my jack-o'-lantern in the background? Look. This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Right? You can put as many pumpkins as you want. You can add whatever you want to. You want to put a fence in, put a fence in. They could be sweet little pumpkins. They could be scary pumpkins, mean, nice. Welcome, Kim. We're so happy you found us. Yay. And welcome to being a new subscriber. So happy for you. So you're going to have fun with us. All right. So really, and this is practice, so don't worry if you didn't get this far. I'm going to do it again step by step. Also, I really like when you guys get into the group early, just so you can see in there there's a printable version, an outline version. So you could just look at that as a template if you want to. It's just a reference. A lot of people that join us have real little kids that want to do something, but not necessarily this. So they just print it out and give it to them with some crayons. You can use any supplies that you have. I'm going to do Jack next. So let's give him his head, his beautiful round head, and his stick figure body. Those sticky legs that he has. Those long skinny arms. He's going to be a silhouette, so I'm not even going to give him details. I'm not going to give him a face, but do you want to give him a face? Go ahead. And then Sally's got like a raggedy dress on. I didn't make her dress raggedy over there, but I was like, oh, she's a rag doll, so it should look a little raggedy. She's not going to prom, right? She, she's all, her legs going in different directions. And you can put the little doggy in if you want with a pumpkin nose. Up to you. Totally up to you. Practice. And again, you guys don't even have to connect that line or you can because you have a pencil and you can erase it later. Sloppy copy. Practice. Let's do the good one. And again, if you just joined us, don't worry about it. I'm going to go step by step. It's recorded. You can watch it later. I'm Denise. Thank you for joining me. Okay. So, and I'm super excited. I was talking about the the Facebook live groups that I just learned about at a conference and Monday with the witch, that's going to be the first time I'm going to use that. So again, there won't be a Eventbrite. It's all going to be through Facebook. So check it out, check out my page, look at it. And if you're in the subscription group, don't worry about it. You guys just go into that subscription group. <laughs> ah, Reagan made it. You're welcome, Reagan. And I'm super happy that you are joining us on your birthday, on your 11th birthday. Wow. All right. So let's start with the circle. If you're just joining us, you're going to do a circle. Any size circle, again, it depends on what size canvas you're working on or paper or sketch pad. So a lot of the people use 11 by 14, which is smaller than mine. So just find something that is a good circle for your moon that'll fit on your page. So um, I'm going to draw the moon out. And again, I'm not going to worry about my giant mountain. I'm just going to draw a line right through where I would put it. Okay, it's hard to draw a circle from the side, but I'm doing my best. A little lopsided, but it's good enough. Okay. And I called it a giant chocolate chip, but it's a mountain, right? A movable mountain that swirls. And if you have, and yours can look different than mine. And if you have an eraser, you can erase that line or you could just color over it or paint over it. And then my other little mountain on the other side that's going to come down. I'm going to put a diagonal line. And I just left those spaces open because I'm going to put pumpkins there. But your line can connect. 
And I'm only drawing with Sharpie just so you can see it on the camera. Last night I was doing a virtual event and someone came on late and she didn't hear me say, use a pencil, I'm gonna use black marker so you can see it on the screen. And she did the whole thing in black Sharpie and then we were doing a very light Monet painting and she could see her black Sharpie. So I just told her she was gonna to have to give it a couple coats to cover the Sharpie marker up. But she just, you know, copied what I was doing without knowing to use a pencil, so. There's my jack-o'-lanterns. I'll do a few more. Yours can look totally different. Again, they could be more squatty. They could be tall. They could be nice. They could be mean. All right, and then we'll do Jack and Sally. And again, if you have a line here, you can erase it. You guys can add little characters in here. There's so many more things you could do. You can even, we've been doing Van Gogh a lot. You could do uh, the background to uh, Starry Night. The other night we did um, Scary Starry Night. Maybe that was last Friday. Is that, that's, yeah, I think we did that last Friday. Uh, so if you guys want to change it up and do the background like Starry Night, go for it. Again, it's your artwork. I want you to do what you like. All right, so here's Jack. Jack's right here. Long, skinny neck, long legs, skinny, long, twiggy legs. His collar and his long arms. His little... I don't want to call it a tail, but it's coat tail, right? And here's Sally and her hair and her raggedy dress. Sally's a cute rag doll. Her arm and her knocky legs that come off all the time, right? And here's the doggy's little pumpkin nose. I love Tim Burton. Tim Burton's the creator of Nightmare Before Christmas. So again, do what you can. I'm gonna give you a minute to catch up and you can use any supplies that you want to color it in. Let's see. I'm gonna use acrylic paint. Are you guys with me? Did the screen go black? <laughs> oh my God. Aw, oh, oh, Benjamin's with his grandpa. Did the screen go black, you guys? I'm trying to get you the link. So if you're new, I will give you a link to come on the camera. If you want to, you do not have to come on camera. All right, let's go back. So did that screen go black? Oh, it did go back. Oh my gosh. All right, so I was, so again, I'm glad you guys are all here. Yay, you're all here, I'm super happy. Okay, and you guys just in your comments, just let me know if I'm going too fast or, you know, so what I was doing, the screen went black, great. So what I was doing was getting you the link to come on the screen. So sometimes people wanna come on the screen halfway through just to show us how far they are or just to pop in and say hi. And usually I wait till the end to give them the link. But again, tonight I'm gonna, if you, you guys now have the link. So I hope it showed up. Did it show up?
Anyway, I should have I should have my nephew help me. But let's paint. You guys ready? So yellow, orange. If you don't have orange, you can make orange with red and yellow. So yellow, orange, green for the stems on the pumpkin. Blue, I'm gonna put some blue in these mountains with the gray and black. Background is gonna be black, and the moon is yellow and white. If you wanna change it again and make it more like Starry Night, you can. You could do the whole background Starry Night. Hmm. That's where I always get, you know what I'm gonna do real quick. Are you guys all caught up? I'm gonna give you that, that's the StreamYard banner. I, sometimes, it's so weird, but sometimes this, the link to come on the screen shows up and sometimes it doesn't, but I really wanna start painting so I can give it to you guys again later. That's the banner. There is a click, a, a much easier way to do this, but let's start painting and I'll show you later. Okay. So I always like you guys, I like to color from light to dark if possible. So the lightest on this artwork would be the yellow, yellow and white, right? So we're going to do this whole background here, yellow and white mixed together. This is a silhouette. It's going to be black. So if I go inside the lines, it's okay because I'm going to color it in black after. All right, so let's get a paintbrush. Any paintbrush will do. A round paintbrush has a point to it, right? So I love that you guys are talking about Van Gogh. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. Thank you guys. For, oh. I'll show you my Van Gogh doll later because I want to start painting. So I got a cute little Van Gogh doll. All right, so again, the, the circle, and I, uh, you can trace anything, a plate, a cup, Whatever circle you can find, or you can freehand it and sketch it out. It's, it's pretty challenging to do a really nice circle, for me at least. So I would say if you have something to trace that's a good size. Do, 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 do. And if I go in, again, if I go inside the dog line or if I go, even if I go outside of the circle line, it's okay because it's going to be black. And it would cover up that light yellow. So I am just going to paint it in. I'm not even going to worry about the pumpkin nose because I'll do that orange later. And you know, you could even leave your moon white or you can make it gray. It doesn't have to be yellow. It could be yellow orange. I'm gonna put a little bit more white in there. And again, you could be using any number paintbrush you want to. Anything will work. You won't really know until you start using it. Cause you know, some people are comfortable with a really tiny brush, but with a really tiny brush, you have to have excellent fine motor skills. So I always say, oh, a medium, you know, round tip brush. That always seems to work. But again, if you have a bunch of brushes, just play around with them and see which one feels comfortable in your hand. When I do paint parties, I always bring a variety of brushes because you just never know. And again, some people really like the larger brush because they can't, you know, paint that long. And so you can cover obviously more of your, paper or your canvas when you have a larger brush. And when you have a tinier brush, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. And again, your fine motor is gonna be really, really good because you have to have a steady hand for that tiny little brush. Don't worry if you go in the lines. Okay, have fun, breathe, laugh, be silly. We like to have fun. All right, you guys, am I going at a good pace for you? You gotta let me know. And if I blacken the screen, I'll be back. <laughs> let me try this.
try it one more time. So that is in one group. And now I'm going to go into the other group. You guys tell me how you're doing. Just chat that away for me. Did you see it? All right. Okay, one, so it, it's weird. I have to go into each separate group to post the stream yard and one of them showed up. I think that is the, that's the nightmare before Christmas group, not the, so again, I'll try in a little bit. How's this coming? Good? If you guys don't wanna do starry night, but just wanna put some stars in the background, you could do that too, right? Or you can do the whole background black. Be creative, think outside the box, whatever you wanna do. I'm going to do, so again, I told you guys I like to paint from light to dark, so I would do the pumpkins next. So the eyes in the pumpkin are yellow, so I would do the yellow on the on the movie poster, but you could do yours opposite. You could do it black if you want to. So mine are going to be like they're glowing, so yellow nose, yellow eyes, yellow mouth. So obviously, you if you have a smaller brush, use a smaller brush because it's a little area. So I'm gonna do the triangle nose, mouth, eyes. Okay, I'm using the same yellow that I use for my moon. Eyes, nose, mouth, eyes, nose, mouth. And again, you could have a whole pumpkin patch if you want to. You could add a fence over there. My orange for my pumpkin. So I'm going around the yellow, eyes and mouth and nose. Okay, so again, if you just got here, look at my pumpkins. Let's check them out in the background. Can you see them? Ooh, he's glowing. All right, so there's my pumpkin. I'll do my stems green. I love when you guys tell me art history facts. Look, love that. So if you're new, a lot of the people that you're gonna see later or in some of the videos have been with me since March. So I have been doing live videos since March 16th, right when uh, COVID came hit, you know, and we all kind of went virtual. So a lot of the people that are with me today have been with me for months, many months, right? So, all right. So now we have the yellow face, the orange pumpkin. Let's do the green stem. and you can use any green. So here's what I want you to remember. You wanna have contrast. So you want whatever color you choose to show up against your background. So I don't wanna tell you exactly what color green to use. I just don't want it to be like a hunter dark green because it won't have the contrast against the dark background. So I would just use 
a medium green, you know, a green yellow, any kind of green that's not too dark. Because again, you want to be able to see it against that dark background. There's my baby pumpkins, like a little pumpkin patch. All right, I'm going to try this one more time to get the other. I know one group has it. So I'm going to go to my Facebook page. That's why I think I finally figured it out. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Oh, here it is. It's so weird. I, so I have to comment. I have to actually switch and comment as Denise Lipka. All right. Where's my members? Tell me now you can see that. Please tell me now you can see that. Wow. Well, anyways, while we're waiting for that, I know it's going to pop up. But you guys, if you weren't watching when we did the Van Gogh Scary Night, I got a little baby Van Gogh doll, which is super cute. Look at that. And it says, you can remove his ear. Oh, my gosh. I had to get it. It's from the Metropolitan Museum. So look at this little baby Van Gogh. Nothing on him moves. None of his arms or his legs. But look at this. His ear. His ear comes off. I'm, I mean, this is the bandage. So this is the bandage. And then the, I, the ear comes off too. So I thought it was super cute. It also has all of his artworks. Okay. Super cool. All right. So now you guys, you know, we got the pumpkins. We got the moon. I'm still waiting to see my subscribers. You guys got to tell me. If you guys start seeing everybody's paintings, you're going to love them. So, okay, let's do the big giant chocolate chip, which is really not a chocolate chip. It just looks like one. So a nice gray is good to do it. So you would mix a, a little black and a lot of white, and then I'll just put some blue in it to give it a little blue highlight. So again, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to use a round tip brush, but you can use any kind of brush you want. Make a gray. Okay, you could mix it right on your canvas. And I'm going to paint right over that line. Okay, but again, you could erase your line. So I like when the brush stroke follows the direction of what it is I'm painting. Yay, you see it now. And you guys, if you want to come up on the screen early and show what you're doing, that would be awesome. Or you can wait till later. So I actually bumped into the blue when I was mixing my gray. So I already have blue in here. So you can do some black, some white, and some blue. Or you could add the blue later. If it's too dark, you could mix some white into it. So I could just, I didn't even wash off my brush. I'm just scooping up some more white paint and I'm just going to paint it right in there. And again, I like when the brush follows the direction of whatever it is that you're painting. And I'm using acrylic paint, which is non-toxic and it's very opaque. And opaque means you can't see through it. Okay. So 
Hmm. I'm getting a glare. I want you guys to be able to see it, good. And now it looks almost light blue. So I'm gonna definitely darken it up. That's okay. It's kind of a cool color. So black and white, again, if you wanna put a little blue in there, it's way easier to start light and go darker than it is to be dark and then try to go lighter. And I went out of the line a little bit in here. So again, with acrylic paint, so forgiving. I love it. If I wait for that to dry, I could touch it up with some yellow paint. It'll easily cover it. So I just want to be patient and let it dry. So I'm going to move away from my mistake. And I'll just finish painting this in. And if you guys have a canvas that has a side to it, you can paint the edges if you want to. Okay, I'm going to finish painting this. And I'm going to make mine a little bit darker, which means I need a little bit more black. And again, I like when my brush stroke follows that line. So it's a diagonal line. I love seeing the brush stroke. That's why I love Van Gogh so much. I love how expressive his paintings were. So I love seeing that brush stroke. You know, it's not something that you're printing out from the computer. It's not a poster, it's a real painting. So you let's make it look like a real painting. Or maybe it's crayons or you know oil pastels or colored pencils. You're gonna see the lines when you're coloring. And again, that's what I mean. It gives it some character. You know it's done by hand. So this is a value. When you do something from light to dark, that's a value scale, okay? When you add, so if, if I started with blue as my base and I added white to it, it's called a tint, T-I-N-T. If I have blue and I add a black to it, it's called a shade. And I like to just mix mine right on the canvas. So I just kind of put it all on my brush and then mix it together on my canvas, going in the, that direction of my mountain. Now, if you're painting on canvas and you see those little speckles, the little white square speckles, that's the texture of the canvas, that's the gesso. So you just need a little bit more paint. So just add a little bit more paint to cover it. And you know what, I, oh, I meant to bring that bag up here. I ran a Dollar Tree today because someone had told me that they have amazing art supplies. And right now they have so many cool art supplies. So if you have a Dollar Tree near you and you're comfortable with going in public with your mask, they have glitter paint, they have Prang, which is tempera paint. They had acrylic paint. They didn't. They only had baby canvases, really little ones, but they did have painting pads. So I, I was super excited with that. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna bring my bag upstairs and show everybody what I got. So this one is going to be, behind, this mountain right here is going to be behind that mountain, which means it's going to be darker. You want to give it a little bit more black so that it makes the other one look like it's in the foreground or in front. So this one's just going to be a little bit darker. Oh, Emma and Bella are here. Let's see what they're up to. They're in Florida. Hey, girls. Hi. What are you up to over there? This is my sister, Pumpkin. <laughs> Very nice, sister, Pumpkin. Hello. <laughs> well, it was her all along. <laughs> Surprise! Are you having fun? <gasps> you guys are done. Am I going that slow? <laughs> Maybe we just went really fast and we're hungry. 
Oh, and you got to do your green stems. So you're going to leave them white. Um, I'm going to do the rest of the pumpkins after it dries a little bit more. That looks really nice, and I like the white stars. I'm going to do that. I'm going to copy you. Okay. Yay. And I liked your pumpkin mask. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking maybe in a week or, or so we could make masks. Like, I'll add that. Yes. We could do, like, masks with maybe, like, sequins or whatever stuff you have fun around the house. All right. When I was at Dollar Tree, I was like, oh, my gosh, we got to make masks. So, all right. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. And Go eat. Just saying, Jack looks a little proud. He looks a little proud? Yes, he looks proud. He looks well, very proud. That's a good thing to He's be proud. He's very proud of the place he lives in or something. <laughs> yes, we know Jack. That looks, and I love how you have the highlights on your ch chocolate chip. <laughs> Somewhere over here. Yeah, that looks really nice. Show so, Everett, what do you guys use to paint on? Are those the canvas pads? Yep, yeah, paper. they're just canvas paper. Got it. Yeah, that's a, I love that. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you. What's for dinner? What's for dinner tonight? Chicken. Chicken and rice. Chicken. Have a good chicken dinner. <laughs> oh, there's, a, so can you tell they've been with me since March? Emma and Bella are sisters in Florida. So they have been here with me from the beginning. And... I got a lot of the people that you guys see talking. They're the regulars who have been with me all along. Thank, I'm, thank God I'm blessed. It's a, a wonderful little community we have. And I love it. It's so fun. And they're silly. And they inspire me. That's why I like to see them come on. I want to see how far you guys are. I, I like to get ideas from each other, from you. You guys get ideas from me. I get ideas from you. I love how she put the little white stars in there. All right, and again, you can highlight this as much as you want to. So you can put some you know, dimension so that you have different grays in this. So it's lighter and darker in some areas. It's not just a flat gray. So what I mean by flat is there's no value to it. You wanna add a little bit of depth by adding maybe a little bit of a darker gray or a little bit of the black to it. So it gives it a little dimension. You see that, how that happens? And then this one, when I do this one, I'm gonna make it just a little bit lighter. So again, it looks, you could tell it's another mountain and it's in the front. So I'm just gonna take that same brush and put a little bit more white on it. Oops, I got yellow on it. Let's see what comes out because I got some yellow on my brush. I'm just gonna mix it on my canvas and see what happens. Look, okay, it's going to turn into a gray, even though I had a blob of yellow in there. Mix it into a gray. I love mixing colors. So as you could tell with my Van Gogh doll, I love Van Gogh. I love doing the background of Starry Night on lots of different artworks. So right now it's a flat gray. That's what I mean by flat. There's no value in it. It's one gray flat hill, which is fine if that's the look you're going for, but it's not the look I want. So again, I'm just going to show you when I say flat, it's like a lot of walls are colored, painted one color. But again, to give it some interest, some value, some dimension, you want it to have lights and darks. how light and how dark is up to you. But I know that it's gotta be lighter than the mountain next to it.
So you just adding a little bit more white, you can see it added some dimension. And again, have your brush stroke follow the shape of the hill. And if you want to put a little touch of blue in there, you can put a little blue. I'll add it later. Right now, mine's just gray. You can put a ghost in the sky if you want to add a ghost. Put a witch up there. Put a witch flying on a broomstick. And I would love for some of the new people to come on too. If you feel comfortable. Again, you just, it's its easy. You just click that StreamYard link and you don't even come right on the camera. You come into a waiting room and then I bring you on. You could just say hi. You could say your name. You can give us a fake name if you want. Last week we had three kids on there and their names were one, two, and three. They put their names in under one, two, and three. It was really funny. It's very cute. So again, it's looking to me a little bit flat, kind of like all one uh, gray. Let me put a little bit of blue on my brush. I'm not even gonna wash it off. I'm just gonna touch my blue and I'll mix it on there. Let me put, I'll put a little blue up here. Let me start here and a little bit of blue in here. You see that? So if I tilt it, it looks really. Can you see it's blue? Okay, and maybe I put a little blue over there. Maybe I put a little blue over here, huh? A little white, maybe make it a little lighter. Follow that curve. Let's jump over here. Oh, Amelia's here. Let's see what Amelia's doing. Hi, Amelia. How are you? Oh, I replaced the people with the mouse. I love it. Hold it up closer. White, maybe, maybe. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. You've been with us since March, haven't you, Amelia? About March. You, what was your, do you remember your very first painting? No. No. The first videos I watched were just recorded ones. Yeah, what was what was your first recorded one? Do you remember? I'm pretty sure it was the flamingo. Oh yeah, that was that was in the spring sometime. Mm -hmm. so, cool. Well, we're glad you're still with us. Thanks for sharing. Okay, Kim. So in the comments, do you see the Streamyard link? There's a it says Streamyard.com, and then it has a little click that link, and that link will bring you into the green room. Okay, so, and if you're new, you guys, in the comments, you see those comments? In the comments, there's a StreamYard link. That StreamYard link is what you wanna click. That's the program that I use, which allows you to come on camera. So StreamYard is this awesome program, very safe, okay? And it's a program, it's just a platform. So I can stream from it. So I can stream into YouTube if I wanted to, like Facebook, LinkedIn as many Facebook groups as I want to. So I can broadcast from StreamYard into these private groups. And I can also have you guys come on the screen, uh, which on Facebook, I can't do that. So um, not like this. Here's Lola oh, from hi. Washington. 
Hey, Lola. This is mine. I'm not almost done. I just wanted to show. It looks really nice. Yeah, you're doing an awesome job. Thank you. And what, are, what are you painting on? Is that canvas paper? Actually, it's not canvas. It's just like thin. Like, like cardboard? It's canvas, but it's thin. Yeah, it's really nice. It comes in a pad? Um, yes, and I was thinking if we can do this, but you can change it. You can make it black, or we can do it like this. Oh, that's so cute. I like it, the rainbow bird and the butterfly. Your hand's covering the girl. Bring it closer. That, oh my gosh, I love the tree. Is that little girl you, dancing? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Are you a dancer? Yes, I'm a dancer of hip hop and Hip hop and what else? Ballet. Well, I'm impressed. I did not know that about you. <laughs> you don't, this is about all I know about ballet. <laughs> That's about it. That's all I got, girl. It's only like this. Like you stretch your hand and like that. Oh, yeah. One hand open and the other one's sticking like that. Maybe one day you could do a move for us. Can you stand on your toes? Actually not because like we're not ready to do it yet. We don't have those plastic things at the ballerina doing it. How to stand on their feet. No. Got it. Well, one day when you're in the mood, I'll, you can give us a spin and show us what you could do. Okay. Okay, whatever you want when you're in the mood. Wait, can I come back again? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. All right, you sure, Lola? I'll see you later. Bye. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, so that's Lola in Washington. Lola's been with us for a long time, too. So, Kim, are you figuring it out? All right, so let me. Again, work on this mountain here. And again, it could be darker. So you could tell this one's lighter than the other one. What would I need to do? I could add more blue. I could add more black. Deepen it up a little bit. No, Gretchen, it didn't work. You click the link. Click the link again. You, I think StreamYard should ask you if you grant it permission. You have to like give them permission. It should, um, where's my regulars? My regulars, Lola or, or Emma and Bella, tell them how to, click the link when you guys first did it, did it, you had to give them permission? I think StreamYard asks for permission for you to guys to come on. So um, you guys, you should just click on that link. Yeah, I think you should be able to get in through Facebook. You don't leave, you don't leave the group. I'm determined to get you guys on the screen. I just, so because I'm already part of StreamYard and you guys are new, 
it should tell you like when you it should tell you what to do like grant streamyard permission okay so what i'm gonna do you know all right so here's what i would do if you want to do it like the girls in florida you could put little white circles like stars in the sky right and then paint around them black irena you rock but first before i do the background i'm going to do my silhouette people Jack with his righteousness, right? Isn't that the word you used? His entitlement, that head like he can do no wrong. Use a tiny brush. You can also use a marker if you wanna be patient. You can let it dry and then use a marker to color it in if it's really tiny. And as you saw, Lola and Emma and Bella use, they sell these canvas pads. So my canvas actually is that thick on the side, but they paint with me all the time. They have a hundred artworks. So again, the pad is really nice because, you know, it's, it's thin like paper, but it's really good with paint. It's made for paint, but it's thin. And the only reason why I don't do that, so I have 16 by 20, so it looks bigger on the screen. Yes, you guys can watch the recording. If this is recorded, the group's still gonna be here. I know I post some Halloween stuff, some silly stuff. So it's all gonna stay in there. Everything's gonna stay in the group, you guys. The comments will be gone. I think the comments disappear when we're done. I'm not positive, I can't remember. But the video is gonna stay there, so you can watch it again. Do it with your friends when they come over. And again, try different supplies. Try doing it different ways. Okay, so I just painted in, those are just solid black. I just painted those in solid black. Now, you can do, could do the background solid black if you want to. You would know how to do that without me teaching you. You could do it with white dots, which again, I think you would figure out without me teaching you. So how about if I do, I'm gonna ask you guys if it's okay. And if it's good, say yes, comment yes. Uh, how about if I do the background like Starry Night with some yellow stars and some sw blue swirls around it? So again, if you're going to do it like the painting, the whole background would be black and you just want to make sure that your hills are not too dark so that they show up against the black background. So if you guys want, I'll do a starry night background on this one. All right, why not be different, right? So I just like before, I'm going to start with the lighter color. So in starry night, the stars are circles. So give yourself some circles. In the actual Starry Night painting, there's 11 stars. Now, if it starts to look like a pattern, you have to scatter your stars a little bit more and they should be different sizes. And maybe you wanna put a little bit of white in it. Let me shut this light off. Let's see if the lighting's, I'm getting a glare tonight. Is that too dark for you guys? One day I'm going to have a real studio. No glare, no shadows. Look at my pumpkin. He's purple and now green. Look at him. <gasps> Let me show you some more purple. Here, look at this one. You could make a pumpkin face like that. You could make a cute little pumpkin with no face at all. Oh, here's my tall, skinny pumpkin. 
Matoskini pumpkin you could do. You could do a face like that on your painting. All right. And then for the starry night look, you could just do blue around the stars. Just circles around the stars, make them go right off the edge. Now I use the same brush that I was using the black with, so it looks pretty gray. It actually goes with the theme, doesn't it? All right, so let's try some blue here. Does that look a little bit more blue? And I could put some white in it. So this one, I'm just gonna do like the starry night background just to make it look a little different. I just bumped into one of my wet stars. So I'm gonna end up with a green starry night, which is okay, it's cool. No one knows your mistakes but you. I just put a little bit of white on my brush. So now, again, I'm giving it more of a starry night look. Let's see what's going on in Florida. What's, what's going on over there? Hi. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to show you my finished thing. I put the pumpkins. I love the faces. Thank you. And I put the hi highlights. And I wanted to show you what we were using for the um, paper. That's awesome. Is that 11 by 14? I'm looking for a size on there. I think. Nine um, by 12. Uh, Nine by 12. Awesome. Yeah, that's, I, I would recommend that to everybody. Those, those. Paper, but also canvas texture. Right. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Hi. Hi, Irina. Thank you for helping. Oh, absolutely. No worries. <laughs> I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. All right. And again, so just remember that the background, this color here, needs to be different enough than my mountain so that it doesn't blend together. Right? You want it to stand out. So all I did was change my background. Why not? Because if you know me, you know I love Van Gogh. But if you didn't want to do the Starry Night background, you would just paint it black. So the only difference is that one, the whole background is painted black. This one, I'm doing stars and doing a darker blue. And... You could do it like the girls where you add some white stars. Lola's back. Hey, Lola. Oh, hi. So this is my half finish. And this is the paper that I use. Oh, that's not. And what size is yours? Mm. Is yours 9 by 12 too? Does it say on the front? Mm. Yeah, it's, it is. Nine by 12? Mm -hmm. Those are great, you guys. So if you haven't invested in that, I would highly recommend it. If you're going to paint with me all the time, those are awesome, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lola. You're welcome. Hey, you know what? Reagan's about to come on. We're going to sing to her, okay? 
Okay. All right. Thanks, Lola. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Reagan. Happy 11th birthday to you. Sorry, I don't have a very good voice. <laughs> Yay. Are you at your grandparents? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you're creating with me. Us. How's the birthday? Good. Oh, that looks awesome. And you just have to, you haven't done the dog yet. Does the dog have a name? I can't remember. What's the dog's name? Zero. What is it? Zero. Yeah. That's right. Well, have a great rest of your birthday. You have four hours left, but I think, hi, Dad. You can celebrate the whole month. Did you know that? And Mom's there. Oh, Mom stuck her head in. Hi. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Thanks. Where's mom's painting? I want to see mom's painting. Oh, daddy uh, stole the extra canvas. We only have oh. one. <laughs> Got it. How's it, how's the weather there? Are you guys okay with the hurricane? Yeah, we actually left in case it came our way again, but then it went way west. But bonus trip to the grandparents. So. Oh, that's nice. And you guys are safe, so I'm glad. Have a great time. Thank you for joining us on your special day. 11 Rocks, you're going to have a great year. Thanks, you guys. All right. Thanks, Denise. Bye. That's awesome. Another family that's been with me from, I believe she said uh, March 17th. I think that's when they started. So, all right. I, you know what, you guys, I'm talking so much tonight. Usually I get done too quick, but tonight I'm taking forever. So look at everyone's done ahead of me again. So I'm just going to fill this sky in. I'm sorry for my new people who can't get on the camera. I'll have to look into that more. The next, if you're in the group, the subscriber, uh, I'll have to look into, um, I'll post just the directions separate because usually the directions are with the where you, where I go live. It'll say, you know, give permission. But I see something different than you guys as, you know, visiting see different than what I see. So the next time we'll go live is Monday at noon for the witch. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Are you guys having fun? So we're all learning. I have to tell you that I am extremely technology challenged and now lighting challenged. I'm going to, I'm going to, Costco has these really cool lights that are made for people who are doing these virtual meetings. They're kind of expensive, but I was thinking I should, right now, you guys, if you saw my room, you would laugh, but it's just, I have lamps set up with no shades on it. And I have the, my drapes closed. So there's no natural light. Cause I get a lot of shadows from that. And, but I'm like, I gotta get the lighting better. Uh, you know, I should be able to figure this out. So that's my next step. The technology. Oh my goodness. It's a challenge. And again, it's, you're not alone, okay? We're all in this together. We're all learning as we go. That's for sure. So last night I did a, it was a corporate women's event. And literally we were on a Zoom meeting for five minutes and then the meeting ended and there were a hundred of us on there and all of a sudden they went, meeting ended. And everyone of course panicked. And, but I don't know what, how they had it set up, but the meeting ended. It wasn't my fault, but the meeting, the way they had it set up was like, somehow wrong and then we all had to rejoin it so uh, my point in telling you that story is that we're all learning we're all students
So in this area, on the poster Nightmare Before Christmas, this is where they have the title, Nightmare Before Christmas. So, and I don't have good handwriting. If you wanna do something different, you can, so I don't like, see how that's straight, that looks like a flag to me. Like it's got very strong definition. I like when it blends more. So I'm just gonna blend it together a little bit more with a little bit of gray. I want it blended. I don't want it to be so strongly divided. A little better, maybe make it a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna to go to Costco and get those lights and work on this lighting in here. The, the problem with going to Costco is I end up with leaving with things like this pumpkin that was so cool I had to take it home, but it's from Costco. Oh my gosh, tell me this is not the coolest thing. Look at, and it changes. It makes noise too, but I can't figure out how to do it. I can't remember if I got it to work last time. Okay, like how cool is that? So the problem with going to Costco is one, they don't have samples anymore because of COVID. And two, you end up leaving with a cart full of things that you had no intention of buying, like this cool thing. And, you know, anyway, but I need some light. So it actually looks better darker in here, doesn't it? I shut one of the lamps off. So now I just have one of the lamps on. All right, so no one else can figure out how to come on the camera? I want to know how you guys are doing, though. If you can't come on and share, can you at least tell me you're going, you're doing good? So a lot of people always ask about supplies. And I don't want anyone not to create because they don't have access to the supplies. So that's why I always encourage you to use what you have. So again, with this project, you could have used anything. You could use computer paper, you could use a box, anything. So you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils. And if you have a little one at home, look for the printable. You're surviving, oh. Emmy, what, do, what can we do to help you? Is there anything you're struggling with? Is someone on the ground kicking their legs and screaming because they can't do it? The biggest thing, they're always where I say get in the group ASAP, is so you see the principle, which you can refer to. So it's just an outline. It's just an outline sketch of what we're creating. And I do that with every artwork, just so you have an idea of what the drawing is going to look like. I do like to draw it out ahead of time. So... Um, before COVID, I was doing in-person parties. That's what I would do. I would go to private parties and corporate events, and I was not a virtual person. So uh, anyway, it's learning as we go. Use what you have. I love the canvas pads that the kids have. I had never seen them before COVID. So when the kids started coming on and showing me, No, that's the best part about the acrylic paint. You do not have to coat it. The question is, do you have to put something on acrylic paint to preserve it? So once it, so it's non-toxic water-based paint, but it is waterproof once it dries. It will come off your skin. It'll come out of your hair. It'll come off your nails and your jewelry. If you get it on fabric, like my apron, once it dries and sets on there about 24 hours, it's going to be your new paint shirt. If you get it on your rug or your carpet, wash it out right away and it'll come out. But if you let leave it there, it's going to set and it's going to stain. Okay. Once this painting is dry, it's waterproof. Okay. So if it was pouring rain in Cleveland, it, it would be fine. But people want to sometimes put their artworks on the patio outside. What I would say is if you do want it to be outdoors, you have to spray it with something uh, that makes it waterproof just so it doesn't get moldy. So the back of your canvas. So this is um, fabric. This is just muslin right? And it's wrapped around wood. And on the front, they gesso it. So gesso is what really makes the paint adhere to the canvas. So this is now waterproof. But again, if I put it outside, I might get mold or something on the back of it. So I would get one of those spray cans that make things waterproof, like from Home Depot, and I would do both sides. So I would just spray the front 
lightly outside because it stinks. Flip it over, spray the back, and you can hang it up outside. But you do not have to do anything else. None of my paintings are preserved. I mean, it dries like this. So it's got a nice, shiny coating to it. And just FYI, I don't want to talk too much, you guys. But so acrylic paint comes in different bodies, which means really the thickness of it. So you can have a really light bodied acrylic paint, those little bottles that you can get in the kit that have like 20 or 30 of them. That's like a light bodied acrylic paint, then a medium bodied and a heavy body. A heavy body is when it's like the tubes that you have to squeeze it out. It's kind of like toothpaste. That's more of a heavy bodied acrylic paint. It's thicker. Okay. There's no right or wrong. It's just a matter of preference and when you're painting with it. If you're using the lighter, light bodied acrylic paint, you may have to apply two coats depending on what you're doing. So you could tell mine is a pretty heavy bodied acrylic paint. I use one coat, okay, and I got a nice sheen to it, right? It's got a nice shine. So most acrylic paint has a shine to it. If it says flat, that means there's no shine at all. So it would have no reflection. I That's really what I should be doing. So you don't have the reflection. But um, any other questions you guys have for me, you could always message me. Check out the website, artistatheart.org. You can find my phone number. You guys can message me. You can text me. You can email me. What, however you find your resources to get a hold of me and ask me any questions. And even if you're chatting in the group, I'll see what you're talking about and I'd be happy to help you or answer any questions for you. So I hope you guys had fun tonight. And again, look at my cool pumpkin in the background. Ooh, I should, I should end with this. How about this? That looks cool too. So if you guys were here last week, my face was painted totally blue, okay? I was totally blue, and it took me all night long to get that stuff off my face. So tonight I was like, okay, I'm not, they don't need to see me blue again. <sighs> so did you guys have fun? I, is there anything I could do to help you before we end tonight? I, I just love doing this. I'm a certified art teacher, and I've been creating you know, art with people for over 20 years, and I do it because it's fun, and I like to be silly. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Irina and the kids for sharing. And I, I, you, you guys, I feel really bad that you can't come on the screen and share, but we'll figure it out, right? So Emmy and Kim and Gretchen, I know you guys had the link because you said it was the StreamYard issue. So we'll figure it out. I'll see if I can figure it out with you guys. And uh, We'll take it from there. So again, let me look into it. I know that's why I asked Irina because you guys have been doing it so much. So thank you, Kim. I'm glad you had a good time. And again, bear with us in these technical issues. And sorry, the screen went flat for a minute. So this black is intentional. Okay, I turned the lights off so you guys can see my pumpkin. All right, you guys have a beautiful, safe weekend, and I will uh, see you guys soon. Thank you for creating with me. Post pictures. You guys can check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party, which is the page, my Facebook page. You guys can upload your pictures in the group. You can comment under the video when we're done. So when this ends, it takes a couple minutes before the video is up in the group. And you guys can rewatch it at any point. And then you can put your pictures under there in the comments, or you could just add your photos in, um, in the stream. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. I want to make sure you can see my heart, right? Can you see my heart? It's so weird. It's like backwards. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you. Go have dinner. <laughs>